In the last couple of lectures, we learned how to create a custom attribute directive in Angular. And we also learned how to manipulate the DOM without accessing the DOM elements directly using renderer2 class. Now in this lecture, let's learn about host listener decorator and what is its use. So the host listener decorator listens to a DOM event on the host element and then it reacts to that event by executing an event handler method. Let's understand this with an example. So let's first go ahead and let's create a new directive. For that, I'm going to use Angular CLI. Now I want to create this new directive inside this custom directive folder. So currently I am in that folder. So here to create a new directive, we can type ng generate command or in short, we can also write it as ng g. Then here we want to generate a directive and in short, we can also write it as d. Then we have to provide a name for that directive. So let's call this directive hover. Let's press enter. So that directive has been created. If I expand this custom directives folder, you will notice two files this hover directive.ts and hover directive.spec.ts has been created. Let's delete this spec.ts file. All right, now let's go to this hover directive.ts file. And here you will notice that we have a class called hover directive and it is decorated with add directive decorator. And also the selector of this hover directive is app hover. Now, Whenever we will use this selector on any HTML element or a component, we will receive that HTML element or component as an argument for this constructor, right? So here, let's specify a parameter here. Let's call it maybe element. Now you can call this parameter anything, but here I'm calling it element. And we know that it is going to be of type element ref. And in order to use this element ref, we also need to import it from Angular Co. Then in the last lecture, we also learned that for this constructor, we will also receive the renderer class. So let's specify a name. Let's call it renderer. And this is going to be of type renderer2. And again, in order to use this renderer2, we need to import it from Angular Co. Now currently, this element and this renderer are the parameters of this constructor. So they will not be accessible outside of this constructor. So here what we can do is we can use the private keyword in front of these parameters like this. And when we use private keyword in front of parameters like this, behind the scenes Angular creates a private property with that name and it assigns that private property with that parameter. So here a private property called element will be created behind the scenes and that property will be assigned with this element parameter. In the same way, a private property called renderer will be created behind the scenes and that property will be assigned with this renderer parameter. And in that way, this element and this renderer will be available throughout this hover directive class. All right. Now here what we want is, so if I open app component.html file, here you will notice we have two divs. So what I want is whenever a user hover over this div, we want to set its margin and padding and we will we also want to set some transition okay so for example if i go to the web page when the user hover over this div element its margin and padding should be increased and there should also be some transition time let's see how to do that so first let's go to this hover directive class and here let's create a method and let's call this method on mouse over okay and inside this method we are going to write the logic which will be executed when the user will hover over the div element okay so here i'm going to make use of renderer class so let's say this dot renderer and we want to set some style here okay and we want to set this style on the element which we will receive for this element parameter. So let's say this dot element dot native element. Now, which style do we want to set? First, we want to set the margin. And then let's specify the value for that margin property. So let's say we want to set the margin from top and bottom as 30 pixel and left, right also 30 pixel. Okay. 
then we also want to set some padding so let me copy this line let's paste it here and let's set padding okay and let's say padding we want to set to top bottom maybe 5 pixel and left right let's say 10 pixel okay then let's also set one more css style which is transition so let's specify the css style name which is transition and we want to set the transition to 0 0.5 seconds okay with this let's save the changes and let's use this selector on this div element this second div okay let's save the changes let's go to the web page and let the page load now here i am hovering over this div element but nothing is happening so here this mouse enter event has happened for this div but angular does not know about this event okay so let's go to vs code let's go to this hover directive class so whenever the mouse over event will happen on the host element and remember that the host element here is the html element or component on which we have used this directive so in this example the host element is this div element because on this div element we have used that directive okay so whenever the mouse enter event will happen on the host element we want to execute this method so this method is going to be our event handler method and to tell angular that when the mouse over event will happen on the host element we want to execute this event handler method we can make use of host listener directive okay so for that we can use host listener and in order to use this host listener we also need to import it from angular co now inside these parentheses we have to specify the event name so here let's say the event name is mouse enter okay so when this event will happen on the host element this method will be executed let's see that in action let's save the changes now let's go to the web page and now when i hover over this div, div element you will notice that this div has shrunk now here let's go back to vs code and here instead of setting the margin to 30 pixel we wanted to set it to 5 pixel and this should be 10 pixel and here padding should be 30 pixel okay let's save the changes now let's go to the web page and now when i hover over this this div is expanding but when i move my mouse away from this div then it is not going to its original dimension that's because when i'm moving my mouse away from this div in that case mouse leave event is happening and in the code we are not handling that mouse leave event so let's copy this code again okay so now what we are doing is we are creating another event handler method let's call this event handler method on mouse out and when this on mouse out event will happen we want to set the margin and padding to its original value so let's open app component.css so original margin is 10 pixel and 20 pixel let's set that here so margin 10 pixel and 20 pixel then padding is 10 pixel and 20 pixel so let's also set that so 10 and 20 and let's keep this transition as 0 0.5 seconds now here we want to handle mouse leave event so let's specify that event name okay so this host listener will be listening to this mouse leave event on the host element and when this mouse leave event will happen on the host element this on mouse out method will be executed on the other hand when the mouse enter event will happen on the host element in that case on mouse over method will be executed let's see that let's save the changes let's go to the web page so when i hover over this div element 
it is expanding and when I move my mouse away from this div element, it is going to its original dimension. But this mouse over and mouse out event is not happening on the first div element. That's because we have used this directive only on second div element. We have not used it on first div element. So this first div element is not the host element. And that's why the mouse enter and mouse leave event is not getting handled for this div element. So let's do one thing. Let's get this selector, the selector for this directive. And let's also use it on the first div element. Let's save the changes now. And now the first div element should also be expanding and shrinking based on mouse enter and mouse leave event. As you can see. Okay. So this host listener decorator listens to the dome event on the host element and then it reacts to that event by executing an event handler method. In this example, these two div elements are the host elements because on these two div elements, we have used that directive, this app hover directive. Then we are handling mouse enter and mouse leave event. So for this mouse enter event, this on mouse over is the event handler method and for this mouse leave event this on mouse out is the event handler method okay so this host listener will be listening to mouse enter event and when this event happens on the host element it will execute this event handler method in the same way this host listener will be listening to mouse leave event as well on the host element and when this mouse leave event will happen it will execute this event handler method so i hope with these two examples the use of host listener decorator is clear to you. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.